Oh shit, I cut it too short. Luckily. Luckily what? I know you, Jack. Just know you, bro. So, secondary battery installation. So, this is Colin's DIY box. So, it has the positive and the negative, and then that's what's inside the positive terminal, the negative terminal, and then he has 12 volts, USB cable, another 12 volts. A switch and voltage meter and then that should plug into there where we had a difficult time calling drilling and routing the the wire for that one there you go and then just plug this in and that's it We routed a positive and a negative to here where a cigarette lighter is which Colin uses for cable um, fridge. Fridge and, and for lights. And then here we routed it underneath. Hopefully you can see it. Let's see. Of course we made it clean. And then positive goes to the front. Oh the positive is dangling, Colin this side you might have to zip tie it and then it goes to uh, battery doctor how long have you had, had this i have a c-tech and i'm happy with it i've had it for for a while eh? um obviously just out of the truck for a bit mm -hmm. but um, i've had no it's looks like a dream so it goes to here and this is grounded and then the positive goes to the battery and uh, it's blinking red because there's no battery and if there's battery what happens here uh, to cover solid state solids okay so that's the installation the power charging override reset your battery flat you've got a, your battery box in you can use the the battery box to jump start your uh -huh. so you push this override. so that's it that's insulation. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and that's while I'm fixing the, the, the building. You know, he, he loves me so much. He he wants me to work and work. <laughs> you got small hands. I can't get my hands in this. You look like a radio. <laughs> I hope you like this. <laughs>